Hey everybody, it's your girl Sharon Fletcher and guess what today is? It's a wash day! That's right. Today is the day where we do our weekly hair ritual. I did my last wash day and the style had turned out really, really well. Right, the sides were flat twisted and I did finger coils to the rest of my hair. So this week, because I had so much product build up in my hair, edge control gel, as well as the usual stuff, every now and then I like to use a clarifying shampoo just to get rid of all that build up. Right, so it's by Heavenly Enhanced and it's called Invigorated Botanical Clarifying Shampoo. And after I've done that, I'm still going to use a deep treatment to restore all the moisture back into the hair. All right, folks, so for the first step, I'm gonna use the clarifying shampoo, right? I may have used too much. These are salon grade products and a little goes a long way. You don't need a lot. You can see some of my red is there draining away. I'm gonna wash that gray right out of my hair. I'm gonna wash that gray right out of my hair. I'm gonna wash that should rinse with very cool water. It's not easy to endure when you're in the shower, but rinse with very cool water to close the cuticles, especially when you have color in your hair. Hey fam, so I have used the clarifying shampoo to get rid of any extra product or extra buildup in the hair. So I did two thorough washes, as you saw, and uh, I also decided to put a bit of the deep treatment um, on the hair because again I don't like my hair to feel dry or rough and when I wear my hair curly I want it to look smooth and I don't want any frizz and this deep treatment helps with that it's a moisturizing treatment my hair is wet and I used a leave-in conditioner I'm using a little bit of echo eco styling gel in the hair and this week this week I thought my hair it's growing pretty nicely and it's getting really long at the front and I like to control the way that the, the curl pattern goes in my hair. I'm going to use these rods. I'm going to use these rods in my hair now. I did it in the summer when my hair was longer before I did another chop to it and I just love the way it came out. Now the trick is ideally you're supposed to blow dry your hair first but I'm trying to avoid putting too much heat on the hair. I don't like too much um, heat damage. And also what I found is when I used to do my weekly trips to the hairdresser and she would do a beautiful um, blow dry and, and, and flat iron for me, whenever I chose to revert back to curly, the curl pattern will have changed, right? The heat eventually weakens your curl pattern and then some parts of it is straight, some parts is curly. And I really want to try to keep it curly and thick and healthy and um, voluptuous looking. I want big, sexy hair, you know? So I'm going to do the style. I want to get ringlet curls and I'm going to use this um, rod to do it. But I'm not going to blow dry my hair. I'm going to do it from wet. And of course, I have to wait a good 12 hours, make sure it's thoroughly dry, like very dry before unraveling these. So watch as I put these in. Okay, so here's the plan. I'm thinking of using the rods at the very front, and then I'll probably have to do finger coils um, the rest of the way around because it's not as long as I thought. I have wrapped it, right, around. I start, let me show you again. I start with the end and then I Wrap, wrap all the way around and bend. So then we got the other hair piece, right? Take another rod. We start from the very tip, make sure that's wrapped around and then 
all along like that and then bend it in from the right and then this one in the front just wrap it around real good and then move it along and bend so this is how it's coming along you're probably thinking wow that's a lot of work there for the front yes it is beauty is pain folks that's the reality <laughs> You know, just look cute from doing nothing. You know how Beyonce has her song, I woke up like woke this. Up like this. I woke up like this. We flawless. Ladies. I woke up like, I, no, I didn't wake up like this. I do a whole hair wash day, many steps to getting the end result that I want so I can feel good as I walk into the take this time to pamper yourself and take care of yourself and take care of your hair. And so here I am doing my comb twist, right? And then I just make sure I use my fingertips at the end to make sure that the ends curl nice and smooth. Okay, so it's coming along, it's coming along. I'm doing the ringlets in the front and I don't know if you can see the back of my hair. I'm doing twists and bantu knots, the sides and the back. I've not done this before, so I guess we'll both find out tomorrow how it's gonna look. And I'm quite excited to see how it's gonna turn out myself. Um, once I saturate the product in my hair, it, it'll turn out fine. If I don't put enough product in, it looks dry. It just doesn't look so good, so there I am twisting you can see there through the mirror just twisting it there this is how I'm able to do my hair and see what I'm doing in the back the whole head will be done see I got the sides twisting there I have the rods throughout to the parts where my hair is is long enough to put in the rods now you might be saying, oh my gosh, that looks uncomfortable to sleep in. It's not that bad. Um, and ideally I should wait 24 hours for it to air dry naturally, a full 24 hours. And most importantly, do not mess with the curls until they are dry. If you start fiddling around and unfolding them or starting to uh, divide split the curls as you try to separate and fluff your hair out if you do it before the hair is dry no bueno you are not going to be happy about that at all all right so here we have it it's all styled and curled up so we have the bantu knots the sides and the back and we have the rod ringlet curls in the front Okay, so it's the next day with the magical video. Here we are. And so the hair feels like it's pretty much all dry. So now I will take out the plastics that don't rip your hair. Very important. Very important for everybody's hair, but especially for curly girls. Especially for us curly girls, we do not want things that will rip and tear at our at our hair that we're trying to grow on this hair journey right this uh hair growth journey it's so funny i had cut my hair in the summertime and uh it's weird how the minute you cut your hair the first thing you try to do is see how you can put it in a ponytail and so after a few months i'm already trying to like do these styles like put rods like this size in short hair go figure right i've undone the Bantu knots at the sides, all the elastics are out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I've touched it and the hair feels nice and dry. So let's see, I'm discovering at the same time with you guys. Ooh, ooh la la, look at that curl. How's this turning nice, out? Silky smooth curls.
it's so some of these up here are still damp so i'm not gonna touch them no touching and i'm gonna put some extra virgin olive oil on my fingertips and then i'm going to undo i'll just undo the sides let's see pretty and where it just kind of naturally parts I will separate. So I'll separate all of these. I just, you know, gently untwist the hair. So you gently untwist the hair with your fingertips nicely oiled with extra virgin olive oil or argan, argan oil, coconut oil, whatever oil works for you. And slowly untwist the hair first. Do that throughout the whole hair so I'm going to keep, I'm going to let this part dry a bit more and then continue to style. Just following where the hair naturally separates style actually evolves as the week goes on right and funny enough or ironically enough by the time it's hair wash day it might be one of your best hair days because all the product has really worked through and it's all moisturized and very shiny so i'm gonna put some olive oil and just kind of put it in the direction pull them in the direction that they were curled Ooh, that's pretty. That's what I'm talking about. See that right there? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it's all about. That's when the work pays off, people. That's the result we want. That's the result we want. Mm -hmm. That's the result we want. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's so cute. So I'm going to have that all cascading down at the front. And I have these at the sides, and I'm actually going to use some edge control. I ordered this one from the States. You get a little complimentary plug plug from me. Um, I'm going to use some edge control. I use a toothbrush, an old toothbrush that I don't use anymore. Ooh, see how it's laying that down? It is laying that down, baby, baby. When I was looking for... I specifically Googled one that works for 4C hair. Oh man, is that ever pretty? Baby hair's bumping. Now we do it to the other side. I'm still working out this style. I haven't quite, I mean, when I twist my hair, I have an idea of how I want it to look, but I don't always have a specific style. And I will say that even though the hair felt like it was dry, I don't know if it was completely dry. I find it a little bit frizzy, but the frizz is not too bad. But as I work through um, undoing the curls and putting the whole style together, and then of course misting with sheen, uh, we'll see what the end result brings. Okay, so here it is, the final result. Do you like it? Do you love it? my curly girl fantastic for you so I think that we have again another successful hair wash day what do you think so with the magic of video we are now the next day and I'd say the rod curls turned out pretty good even though I didn't blow dry them first I applied no heat but the key was to have it dry completely and if I had to be honest I think it could have dried even more than it did. I should have waited a complete 24 hours. But um, yeah, I'd say it turned out pretty all right. And I just used, of course, the uh, edge control for the edges. And at first I thought that if I had bent two knots to the side and bigger ringlet curls at the front that you'd see this big difference in the curl variations, but nope, this is what it is. So, if you like my hacks for your 4C hair curls, please like, follow, and subscribe. 
so you can see more of my videos. Okay, stay safe, be well, till next time.